Ross and I have had the opportunity. I've, I've spent time ministering churches on five continents. I have been in churches in 50 different countries of virtually, well, lots and lots of different denominations. And I make this statement, not as a condemnation, but as an observation. By and large, the church has exchanged the power of God for respectability. Yes. And I, I, I believe that, right? Yes. You know, there's having come from that Catholic background, I know of uh, Dominic, who started an order of, of monks back, I think, in the 1100s. The Dominicans, right? You may have heard of the Dominicans. And he is credited with having met Pope Honorarius III in, in Rome at a time... Now, this is even before St. Peter's Cathedral as it is today, or Basilica. But this Pope, this is what the account goes, and it's been spread for hundreds of years, that the Pope said to Dominic, you know, pointing to all of this, all of this glory and grandeur that was there in Rome, saying, no longer, you know, because they, they call themselves Peter, you know, says, no longer can I say, silver and gold have I none. And Dominic looked at him and said, neither can you say, rise and, and walk in the name of Jesus. Rise and be healed. Mm. I, I believe that we've created that power of God for respectability that comes with, with things that impress the world. Right? We need to trust the Lord. Not just trusting that he'll supply us with money, with what the world has. Otherwise, we're still trusting in the power of of mammon. Yes. Okay. It's serving. It's serving power. We are serving power. Power of God or the power of mammon. Because we have been so conditioned to believe in the power of wealth, of yes. money. Yes. That it'll give us the ability to do or the ability to control. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Oh, if I had a million dollars, I could do this. I would mm -hmm. do this. I could. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trusting in the money. Whether you're asking God to give it to you or not. Mm -hmm. All right? And and this is part of the problem with prayer, our prayer life. It's about, you know, give us this, give us this, give us this, so we can have that power, so we can be in control, so we can do. I promise you, I promise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that if God is calling you to do something, he will provide for you to do it. Maybe he'll give you the money. Maybe he'll do it some other way. I mean, we have certainly experienced it both ways. But... It, it depends on where are you, honestly, where are you placing your trust? Where are you placing your confidence? For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Oh, yeah. First John 5, verses 3 and 4. What overcomes is faith. Yes. Where does faith come from? From his word. <laughs> faith that connects us to the power of God is first and foremost about giving, not about getting. Right? Okay. Again, this is one of the problems in the modern church, particularly in the West, mm -hmm. that we think that faith is about, I want to get this, I'm going to, I got faith to get this, I got faith yes. to get that. When, when was the last time you said, I, I have faith to give. I mean, it's always about faith to serve, faith to give. Now, by the way, I mean, I, I, I don't want to be misunderstood. I want to operate in faith so that I can get great gain. It says in Hebrews 11, that great faith chapter, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. For by it, the men of old gained approval. It doesn't say they gained silver and gold. It doesn't say they gained, say they gained new cars. or. It says that they gained God's approval by their faith. That's what we need to be seeking. You know, it says in Hebrews 11, By faith, Abel offered. By faith, Noah prepared an ark. By faith, Abraham obeyed. By faith, Abraham offered up Isaac. By faith, Isaac blessed. By faith, Moses chose to endure ill treatment with the people of God 
rather than enjoy the passing pleasures of sin there in Egypt. That's what faith is supposed to do in our lives. We should be praying for that faith to arise in our lives. Because that's what God, Jesus is going to be looking for when he comes back. He says, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith? That faith. Yes. That faith. Yes. The faith that gives you the power. It was the faith that gave the that that gave the woman the power to get power from Jesus to heal You're her. The woman who had been hemorrhaging yeah. for twelve years. Yeah. Yes. Faith arose in her heart, yes. and she went out and said, "If I could just touch the hem of his garment." I mean, it, but see again, it's faith about connecting with God. Yes. Her faith was about connecting with Jesus Christ. The power. Okay. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before.